daily habits are oftentimes the foundational elements for learning a new skill. Over the past five months, I've been doing exactly that with my half an hour daily violin practice. And this has worked reasonably well up until this last month where I missed 15 out of the past 30 days that I could be practicing. Eventually, I hit a point where I just realized I had to change my routine. What I was doing before obviously wasn't working. If I was going to make this violin habit sustainable, I needed to make some habit changes. Hey, I'm Kelly. I'm a father of six, full-time software developer at Rescue Time, and Dean of Digital Campus at Sigma University. On this channel, I like to talk about tips and techniques to help you be more productive in a sustainable way so that you can enjoy life more by getting more work done in less time. If you're new here, about five months ago, I decided I wanted to learn how to play the violin. And since then, I've been doing monthly updates on my violin vlog to just help myself stay accountable by sharing my progress with you. In these videos, I've been sharing a bit about learning new skills and fitting it into an otherwise busy schedule. Today, I'm gonna be talking about what I need to do to change my violin habit to, you know, make it sustainable once again so I would actually get to doing it every day. As I said at the beginning, I had set myself a goal of playing 30 minutes on the violin every single day. And this past month, I failed pretty hard. I missed half of the days. Just over a week ago, I finally accepted the fact that if I was going to continue making progress on the violin, something had to change to make this violin practice sustainable on a daily basis. To do this, I took a step back and asked myself, okay, why am I no longer making progress on the violin on a daily basis? Well, it turned out that I was always meaning to get to the violin. I just got busy throughout the day and never got around to it. Previously, I had no set time for doing the violin. I would just generally get to it at the end of my workday before dinner or possibly after dinner before spending some time with the kids and putting them to bed. The problem is over the past month or so, I've had quite a few late night meetings and we've been driving our daughter back and forth to dance classes and I just was never getting around to it. I was pushing the violin off to the last thing of the day. Unfortunately, there was no time at the end of the day anymore. I'm just looking for a book on the bookshelf. There it is. Oh. I hope I'm in focus. Oh good, it is isn't fo focusing, okay. I had false colors on, which are pretty cool using those, but I couldn't see the focus speaking. But now I turned off false colors, put focus speaking on, and look, my beard is nice and glowy red. Okay, that's enough of that. Because of this, I decided to revisit one of my favorite productivity books, and that's James Clear's Atomic Habits. Now, this book is one of the most highlightable books I know. Seriously, there are tons of highlights in this book, all good highlights. Check out my how to read video up there. But I knew one tip in particular here would stand out as being something that would really help me to get back on the violin journey, and that is habit stacking. Habit stacking is really very simple. It's if you have something you want to do, a new habit you want to build, just piggyback it on some habit that you're already doing on a daily basis. For instance, if you're bad about brushing your teeth, just brush your teeth after the first time you go to the bathroom in the morning. It's something you always do, and eventually you'll remember to do it at that same moment. Now, I'm not going to be practicing the violin in the bathroom, but what I did decide to do is to stack it on another daily habit of mine. You see, my daily routine is such that after I finish the early morning devotions, shower, morning prep, stuff like that, I have a two hour focus block of intense work. After this, I take one to two hours off to hang out at the coffee shop, chat with some friends before going back home and doing another two hour focus session of work. This coffee shop ritual is an almost daily routine. As such, it's the perfect time for me to stack some habits. And that's exactly what I did. I decided that instead of jumping right into that second intense focus session right when I get home, I'm gonna take half an hour then to practice the violin before going back into work. I started this up about a week ago and it has been working fantastic. When I get home from the coffee shop, I'm not yet in that really focused work mode and so it's a perfect opportunity to pick up the violin, play a little bit, have a little bit of fun before diving back into work. Since I started this just over a week ago, I haven't missed a single day. It has made it so much easier to just pick up the violin knowing that I have the set time in my day every single day. I'm really curious, is there a habit that you're trying to build? If so, do you have any other habits throughout the day that you already do that you can stack it upon? If you do, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. 
That's all the habit talk for now. Let's jump over to a separate view where I'm going to play something that I've been working on to see if this violin habit has been paying off for me or not. Let's go check it out. Okay, so this is a piece called Cripple Creek. I'm still not the best at it. I'll go once through the tune, then I'll play the break. Let's go. It'd help if I'm looking at the sheet music. Once through with the break. Okay, so that was an interesting experience. Definitely not the best I've ever played that, but thank you for sticking around and watching that. As of now, I'm five months in, and this past month, as I missed so many days, I was, part of that I think was me just getting a little bit down, not very happy with the progress I was making, but then I realized that even playing Cripple Creek at that level that I just did with lots of intonation mistakes, a few missed bowings, and a few missed notes, that's way better than I was just a couple of months ago. And so I am very happy with the progress I'm making. Of course, as always, wish it was better, wish I was further along, but it is what it is, especially for the amount of time that I've put into this. So thank you for watching that. I hope that you will stick around and watch some of my other videos and maybe the next violin vlog in a month. Till next time, bye. Okay, cut all that out. We'll go again, one more time. In these videos, I've been sharing some techniques. When learning a new skill, uh, obviously I'm not practicing singing at all.